I have been studying Zen. I said it. I'm very interested in psychology and philosophy and spirituality and I don't know, just the nature of like inquisitiveness about self and the universe. Self and the universe. Wow, that's a big <laughs> generalization. But I suppose I just like to wrap it all together and see how everything connects and what it all is. What is all of this that we're doing here, living? What is this? I've been studying Zen and I, and I think about that stuff and I like to do Tai Chi and I meditate and I love being naturalistic and... Uh, learning about self-care and learning about art and learning about self-expression and just like the nature of being. So in Zen, it's a difficult thing to define and that's one of the ways that you know it is that thing which cannot be defined. Like you read enough books about it or you do enough practice in it or you have enough types of experiences of being in it that you're kind of, you like shrug your shoulders, like who knows how to define it? I don't know what that is, <laughs> you know? One of my focuses, I suppose, is learning how to live in the present moment, which is this idea that just fascinates me. And not just fascinates me, but it serves me. And that's how I want to live. I want to live in the present moment, looking in the taking in my surroundings and not having any anticipation of the future or distraction or anchor from the past just living in the present moment and just being connected. So I guess I've been thinking about it and one of the concepts that I have floating in my head right now is this idea of like, okay, what is a moment? What is the moment, right? We have such a habit of defining things and putting walls around things and like, I suppose in the same way, I wonder, well, what defines the moment? You know, how can we get to the point where there's where I don't have a definition <laughs> or feel the need to have one? But I suppose I think of it like like these bubbles around our brain, like where our attention is currently placed. And many of us tend to live in the future. Hi, that's me living in the future constantly, making goals, making plans, being ambitious, um, anticipating. All that anticipation creates a bracing sensation in your body at like a very minute level, you know, down to like the deepest layers of our muscles. We have these like little, we are, we're bracing constantly and it creates tension and we get headaches and we get neck aches and it like we feel it all over our body. If we're carrying a lot of tension, it wreaks havoc on our bodies and we're constantly dragging around the past just in the essence of our who we define ourselves as and we have this like long span of memory that we like to tie together in a big string and drag it around behind us and say this is everything who i am and we do this to ourselves this is how we tell ourselves who we are in our bubble of a moment where our attention is is so big all the time and we're carrying it around and I'm working to shrink that bubble down as much as I can. And the more I shrink it down, the closer I am to experiencing what a moment is. I think every time I try to experience a moment, I trip on it and I lose it again because that's the whole thing. Like you can't stare it in the face, you have to become it. The moment that you you are distracted to think, am I living in the moment? <laughs> you know, it's the moment that you're not. <laughs> and I'd love to get to that point of singularity where there's no like doubt and anticipation and hesitancy or anything just to flow. I wanna, I wanna find flow and that's a difficult thing to find because part of finding it is by not looking for it. The only thing you can do is keep trying trying to just remind yourself constantly to take it easy, keep moving forward, and try to be present. And the more you practice, the better you get. Yeah, well, there you have it. <laughs>